As computers get older, they tend to get slower and buying a new machine every time this happens isn't affordable for most people. So in this video, I'll be going over how to speed up an old MacBook and make it run as close to new again. All right, so the first thing you want to try to do is to free up storage on your computer. It's a good idea to go and get rid of things as your hard drive or SSD gets full because then your computer starts to slow down a little bit. So getting rid of some items will help to go speed it up again. One way that you can go ahead and check this is by clicking on the Apple logo, going to about this Mac and going over to storage. And here we can go and see an outline of everything that is taking up space on your computer. When you click on manage, that can help to go and see a bigger view of everything that you have installed on your computer. And you can go through each one of those categories and get rid of stuff that you don't need. Buying a hard drive or an SSD may also be a good option for you if you don't want to get rid of your files and if you still want to keep some of them, but you don't want them stored on the Mac's internal hard drive or SSD. The next tip is to uninstall apps that you don't use anymore. Uninstalling apps that you don't use anymore will help to free up that storage space on your computer and will make your computer run a little bit faster. So if you want to do this, open up your finder and click on applications. And here it will bring up a list of everything that is downloaded on your computer and you can click on each one of these and drag over into the trash and that will delete it. All right, so the next thing to do is to manage your startup items, which will help speed up your computer when you log in every time. To do this, you'll want to click on your system preferences, go into users and groups, and then click on login items. And let's say right here, zoom, if you don't want that, then you can just click on the minus button right here and get rid of it so it doesn't launch every time that your computer starts up. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna go over is cleaning up your desktop. Although this may sound like it's just making your desktop look more organized, every time that there's a thumbnail here that has to be generated, that stuff gets stored in your system's RAM and it has to keep it there in order to go and show these thumbnails. So it's best to just try to get rid of as many of these items as you can that you don't need so it's not taking up system resources. So you can go ahead and select some items and move them to the trash if that's what you can do. However, some people don't want to do that and they still want those items on their desktop. So the workaround for that is to go and right click on your desktop and click use stacks. This is a built-in macOS feature that will take all the items that were on your desktop and it'll organize them into little folders. So you'll see right here, images. If we click on that, then it shows us the images that were on our desktop. If we click on documents, then that will show us these PDF documents that we have on our desktop but it just keeps them in a more organized view and it doesn't have as many thumbnails that it needs to generate now. The last tip to speeding up your Mac is to update the software on it. As simple as this may seem, a lot of people tend to forget this or just put it off until a later date. And when you don't update your apps, it's not gonna be the most optimized version for your computer. So it's a good idea to go and do this for not only your apps, but also the system software as well. In order to do this, just click on the Apple logo at the top Go down here into App Store, and right over here you should have something about updating apps. You may also need to update the operating system on your computer, so go down into System Preferences and open it up. And scroll over to the Software Update, and now it'll check for updates, and sure enough, we do have one that we need to install. It's time for me to go and update this computer, and I think it's a good idea that you take some of those tips that we went over today and help speed up your Mac. If you found this video helpful or useful in any way, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to more tech content every week. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section and I'll respond there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.